Hi everybody, this is Al Spath. It's the 1st of September and there's breaking news from Ace High Radio. Today at 9 o'clock p.m. tonight, Eastern Time, there's a free roll that's going to be presented by Ace High Radio. And at the first break, if you're following Ace High Radio on Twitch, you will be in the chat room and somebody, some lucky winner will play for the $50,000 by receiving a gold bar from Drush and Samo. You want to make sure you're in the chat room and following. You have to be a follower of ASI Radio. Tonight is the night. The launch is set. The fun begins. There'll be lots of people twitching, including myself, Wise Dan. Uh, I don't even know the names of some of the other players that are going to be twitching late, late live. And as we build up the programming, I'm going to do some segments for Drush on here as well as my series. And you can go up to YouTube, Al Spath, and play one of my playlists. I've got uh, Building a Bankroll series up there right now. Nickel Dime, Ten Cent 25, like this table here. Uh, 25, 50, and lots more, including heads up tables and some sit and goes, and later some, even some more. But let's get back to the action here right now, and I'll tell you some more of the promos that are going on. 6-5 is a very good hand. I'm out of position. I'm just going to call in this situation here. Don't need to raise the big blind. See if he'll raise me. A good chance he will since I limped in. I'm willing to call up to 75 cents here because I like the hand. I think he's just going to let me see a flop here. So I hit the six. I don't believe he has a jack or a king. He might have raised me. He says he does have a draw of some type. I don't like the fact that I hit the diamond. I'm hoping that he didn't hit a diamond and he believes that I have it. And he does. Sometimes you got to get them to believe. Sometimes you got to make them drink the Kool-Aid. 10-4, got great position, bad cards, easy fold. You like to challenge yourself when you go to a table like this. I'm going to play a half an hour and check where I'm at. I started with $25. I would hope that I could get above $35 or $10 within a half an hour. That's a, an hourly rate of $20 an hour. A 10 cent, 50, a 25 cent table, that would be good. If I stay 45 minutes, then I would expect to make uh, somewhere or $15 or, or better. So I'd have, I'd want to be north of $40 as a total. And if I got the $50 and doubled up, of course I would get up before the 45 minutes and I would probably just leave and bankroll my money and, and continue to build a bankroll. I'm not going to jeopardize winnings at the table. Now later on when you have lots of money and you've been winning, you never want to leave the table if it's juicy. In other words, it's been paying off for you. If it's uh, been uh, prosperous for you, you, you've got control of the table. I could probably raise with this ace. So playing six-handed, uh, this guy's been sitting out a while. Um, but I just don't. I just got here. I'm, I'm just going to take my time a little bit. I don't want to establish a very loose, aggressive uh, appearance really from the start. But I will uh, be getting my money in. Cato is a player I, I, you've seen on some of my other videos. Hopefully you, you, you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate that. I'm trying to get to 100. we got about 50, so help me out. Just no cost. Just hit subscribe when you get there. Al Spath. Now, this is a good hand, but I'm out of position. This guy posted. Uh, it's going to go six-handed. I'm just going to throw it away. It's not really a hand that I want to play out of position. So... Getting back to the fact that if you had money, if you're at a table and you're winning and you don't have no reason to bankroll, bank the money if you, in case you did lose, if the table's juicy and it's paying you off, you want to stay as long as you, you can, unless you get tired, unless you have an appointment, unless you get sick, unless you are hungry, unless you need to go stretch somewhere. If something's on your mind, then get up and leave and take the money. But otherwise, when you find a juicy table, you want to extract as much money as you can. You may sit there and it was really juicy, and then after about an hour or so, you notice that new players come in and it changes. It gets either more aggressive or it gets weaker or whatever the case may be. You really want to get up if you don't like 
Uh, what's going on? This guy, Jim T. Play. I don't even remember him, but I got a note on him. Stupefied. He's very stupid. So let's see what, how he plays. He's got $14 to give to us. So let's see if we can get some of it. Pocket nines is a good start. We're not going to let them see this flop for a quarter. We always have to remember Cato's M.O. is putting all his money in the pot. All right. So if I go pot, it's going to cost them 85. I'm going to make them go a dollar here because I'm out of position. So that's 75 cents from a limper and a poster. The limper and the poster. So he's in the pot. I'm going to just follow this up with a dollar 76 and see if I can shake him. I can't shake him. You see how fast that call was? I'm going to go half here and see if he's still got a spade or not. If he's got the queen, he's going to fold. If he doesn't have a spade, he's going to either come over the top. There you go. So if I don't fire, I'm going to lose that hand. He's got the queen. Ace-10 is not one of my favorite hands. I'm out of position. But I got a limper here. That means he's playing probably any two cards. Until I can see what he's playing, I can't. You know, Jim, I said he was stupid, but uh, I didn't say he was not breathing. He's still breathing, so he's hitting his button. So I want to make him pay more to play. So if I hit a pot, it's going to be 75 cents. That means he's got to pay 50 cents, too. A lot of people will defend with weaker hands that they shouldn't defend. For instance, if he has queen 10 here, it looks good to him, and he might jump the money in, but he actually has a queen against my ace if he did get in. So I'm going to fire three quarters of the pot. I'm against one opponent. If he's got the jack, he might stay. If he's got the draw, he might stay. I'm going to hit him for $2 and see what he does. Remember, he likes to be in hands. It could easily have a four here. His hesitation either means he's got it, Oh, he's going to fold it. He's not just calling. Okay. Well, if that's the way they want to play, I should have played the ace seven earlier. <laughs> I got position. I got lousy cards. Facing the same old limper. Now, Cato sees me throwing my money around. He's the kind of guy here with like pocket eights or ace jack would limp, hoping I would raise and then put his five dollars in the pot. He's that type of player. You've heard me talk about him, uh, and I don't have a note up on him, but I just don't even waste my time typing it. It's so easy on him. And that's not to say he can't beat us in a race sometime or or beat us with a better hand. So what do we expect? We expect somebody to bet at least 50 cents here, if not 62. Two-thirds, three-quarters of the pot. That's a bad bet. That means I got a little something, but I'm not strong. Bogus, said, Bogus was the first one to check, and then he did the same thing. So Bogus may have something like a seven, or he might have a four, or he may have, even have something like a five-eight, where he has a, a gut shot draw, and now he's out. We got to think about what what kind of hands they may have if they're doing things. Now we've got our second pair this early nines now tens, so we're going to raise. We're going to hit the pot button, put it up to sixty cents. These seem to be the two loosest players at the table. That's a great card for us. It's a great draw for us. No hesitation. Dollar nine. It's a winner. Some of you might say, "Well, why don't you slow play that?" Well, what if he has a 10 uh, also, and then a jack comes off, and then we got to split it. You know, this, this, or what if he's got a jack, and then a 10 comes off? Uh, let me put it that way better. He gets a straight, and I get three of a kind. I have to lose all my money to him. It's just too coordinated to, to do those kind of things. What if he has 8, 9, and he's got two pair, and I give him a free card? So it's, it's not to my advantage to do that. If he's got the two pair, he's going to pay me. He's going to put the money in the pot. So 
So just about nine minutes, ten minutes gone. I'm up six dollars. I'm looking to improve it. I told you earlier. Up oh, a seven against ace king. You play the ace reg, you die with the ace reg. Even six handed, it's okay, but it's not great. Second time with nines. He's out of position. For him to call me, he has to have at least King Jack, Ace 10, pocket pair. He calls. So if he has King Jack, he has me crushed. But I got to bet a dollar almost. Let's see what he's got. Three quarters of the pot. If he comes over the top, I can fold it. There you go. So what does he got? I'm going to say he's got King Jack. I'm going to say he's got a draw, maybe. But I'm going to fold it up. Pardon the phone. Couldn't get him to, to do anything there. You never know when the phone's going to ring during a broadcast, so my apologies. It wasn't publishers clearinghouse calling to tell me I won anything. I can guarantee you that. So we got bad cards, bad position. If we if we face a raise, that'd be three negatives. Easy to throw away. Now Jim limps again. There's a guy that limps. All of a sudden he puts in a dollar seven. He's got a hand. He's got ace queen. He's got a decent hand. The guy doesn't put money in the pot like that unless he's got something. He always, he just limps when he doesn't have anything. Or in that case, look at he throws something away. So I'm just going to call here and see what my, my opponent will do. I'm going to go for the check raise here. Oh, they didn't want a part of it. So I'm just going to bet a quarter to see if he just sticks around. I'm hoping he has not an ace. Oh, he does have an ace. He does have an ace. That was a bad card to come off there. I don't think he gave me credit for the 10. Of course, he didn't have a 10. This is not a good hand. I got good position. The way these guys have been calling and everything, uh, I think they'll I pay a lot more to, to get in the pot. But since I'm not first, I'll throw it away. I would have probably made this a dollar this time. I'm going to ramp it up on my bets pre-flop. Instead of hitting the pop button, I'm going to add money to it because the the table is offering me that kind of return. If the table, if I was getting away with everything with the 60 cents, then I would stick to the pot bet, which is normally what you would do. But since these guys want to throw the money at me or on the table, I need to take more when I do uh, win. Well, we have a setback of about three bucks. Uh, that's a decent enough hand. I would think that that hand could be, you know, king ten or better. Might be a light, a light ace, maybe like ace seven, eight ace. We'll see right here. Jim goes all in here. He's probably got a pair or an ace king, in my opinion. Although he could be playing his stupid game where he doesn't have nothing. Somebody has to call him down to find out, or he has to show it. Not showing. Again, a mouse bath. Uh, former dean of work at Poker School Online. I've been teaching for about 25 years. I love to teach folks. I do teach or coach them privately. If you email me at alspath, alspath.com, and put the word teach or Ace High Radio, I will give you a 25% discount on your first two lessons, each one of them. Um, you can contact me for shadowing, coaching, any, oh, they did it again, any of those things. And again, please subscribe to my Twitch channel, it's Teach GPL, and my YouTube channel, which is Al Spath, two words, 
and I also put a playlist up there for you where you could play the, the nickel dime, you can play the 10 cent 25, you can graduate to the 25.50, we'll be doing the 51. There's also some tournament play, some heads up play. I'll be filling all that in for you in the next couple of weeks. And I'll also be broadcasting live here on ASI Radio. Not here today because they launched tonight, but you can see my screen is set up for the ASI uh, Radio broadcast. That's an easy fold. By the way, if you don't have a full flush account, if you go there today, you can get in that free roll tonight, which is the September 1st, and there's going to be a lot more giveaways all week long. Download Full Flush Poker and put Ace High Radio AHR, abbreviated AHR10 and get $10 into your account. Now, some of you may already have a full flush account and you won't be able to see the tournaments or be able to play, but if you wanna register a new account for your family member, I'm gonna call here with the deuces, I'm set mining. Uh, it's gonna cost me 25 cents. He's gotta have 10 times that amount, which he does to, for me to, to, to set mine. That's exactly what I want here. I want him to have the ace king. I'm going to raise him up here and see if he really wants to put it in there or not. I'm going to check it here like I was just on a heart draw and see if I can get him to put more money in. Um. Oh, he hit a set up at me. Oh, my God. He kicked my ass. That's the chances you take. I gave him a... I, 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 Put the money in and gave him a chance and he hit his card. I don't know if I could have got him out on the flop, but I probably could have. Bad on me, but he only had two outs. You got to give a person an opportunity. I thought he had the ace king. Did not consider the sixes. One iota. But anyhow, like I was saying, get an account for your wife. Get an account for your son. Get an account for somebody and... Get in there, get the $10, and play in these free games. Build up the account. AHR10. Now I'm struggling here. This guy may have a 10, so I'm going to hope that he comes along with me and doesn't make a full house. Let's see what he's got. Oh, he's got a flush draw too, but it's not good enough. So we got our money back, and we're back to 30. So we got beaten by set over set. It's tough to get away from set over set. Uh, you're gonna get all your money in the pot mostly every single time. Uh oh, he went away, that's not good. Guido says I'm on fire, a nice hand. <laughs> I'm gonna see how nice a hand it is right here. I like the eight six gapped suited. Yeah, it was on fire. I hit the deuces. You know, the chances hit the deuce seven and a half to one, and I did hit the deuce. And then after the flop, for him hitting his six, he was uh, 8%. Uh, I don't think I win this one. I think this guy comes over the top or he, he, he calls me and I'm done. Yeah, see, I thought I was dead on this one. That's what happens when people see you bet and they're going to let you bet. I could have took a free card there, but it didn't serve me any purpose. If he didn't have anything, I could have at least won the hand. Again, I'm, I'm first. I'm going to put pressure on people. Come on, Jim. You've seen my play. Come on and call. Just don't go all in. I got to bet it. Unless Jim bets it. I do need a jack. I'm going to take the free card here. He could have the king 10. He could have it. I got to be careful here. Do I want to take the dollar 74 and be sure or lose a dollar 74 or do I want to raise and risk the fact that he's going to go all in?
I win. If he calls, I win. The ups and downs of playing poker, fellas. Kato keeps saying, yep, on fire. Yeah, it was a gut shot at the end, but he, I took the free card. You must trust. <laughs> I'm going to get lots of calls. Sparky wasn't here, so he doesn't know what's going on, but I'm seeing like they should be re-raising me is what they should be doing. Not, not letting me control everything. I'm going to check here, and I'm going to make them think I got the king. Sparky may not. I don't think he... Yeah. I'm going to check again. I think elbow fires at least $1.48 out here. Something in that range. Nope. <sighs> I'm going to check. What do you think Sparky has here? Do you think he's got the 10, the jack, or the king? You know what? For a quarter, if elbow doesn't raise, I will call just to see what he's playing and how he plays. The, the money I lose, I mean, I could win if he has a three, but I want to see his cards. Okay, he had the 10. I suspected the 10. But that's all right. He played ace-10. He played very weakly, and so it tells me a little bit about him. And it cost me a quarter, big, big deal. Elbow room had queen 10. Okay, 20, 21 minutes in, up just under $10. That's the goal, remember, half hour at this level, $10 is not a bad rate. That's, that's $20 an hour. I think if you played five hours a day and made $20 an hour, made a 100 bucks a day and played five days a week, that'd be 500 times four weeks or five weeks in a, in a month. You'd be making $2,000 a month at 10 cents 25. That would be pretty good profit. So if you can hit the goal of $10 every half hour or $20 an hour, you're doing really good. Of course, anything less, still good, as long as it's not a loss, as long as it's a plus. That's the easy get out of dodge card. The other day, if you watched one of my videos, I think it was video 25 or I think it's 24, 25, where I sat down at a 10 cent, 25 cent table. I had a challenge from somebody and I needed to get to $100, sit with 25 and get to 190 minutes. And if I won't tell you what the outcome was and everything, but uh, please take a look at it. It, it was it was a great demonstration of what you need to go through and how you might need to make certain plays. And uh, I don't want to tell you the outcome. I'm not going to say I made it. I'm not going to say I didn't make it. But I think from the people I heard that watched the video, they enjoyed it very much. Uh, even the last, very last hand. That's an easy fold. We lost him. So we're playing five-handed. You can play a wider range. Cools hasn't been raising that much. So I would think that Cools has got a, a, a good hand here. He's out of position and he re-raised. And he only called. So I'm going to let downgrade his to the ace-nine, king-queen area. And I'm going to upgrade his hand to the ace-queen, ace-king possible pair. Big pair like queens. Let's see if we get this all in or not. Seven dollars. Come on, we'd like to see both cards. One of you two guys. There you go. Let's see. That's crap. That's the queens that he should have had. He hits the eight and still wins. Should never have won that hand. Got a three to a. Got two diamonds, three to a straight. He only has an eight, and he donks his money. That's why I put that the note about him being stupid. And stupid pays there. Stupid is what stupid does, right? 
this guy had the best hand, the queens. And again, even with the 8, 9, 10, that's a tough hand. He got a jack redraw for a straight, but it's a tough hand with that board coordinated. I thought this guy would have had a little bit more. And to go in pre-flop, that was crazy. King Queen, sweet, suited. Don't want to face a dollar raise here, especially from Jimbo. Quarter, I, I'm gonna call. I'm not gonna re-raise him because I don't want to get into it until I hit something. So I'm gonna go with a raise here. Oh, it goes 11. Well, folks, we've seen what he's done before, so let's get it all in and see what happens. If he hits it, he hits it. Double pair. He got me. Unless I pair the board. He's got me. Nice job, Mr. Stupid. Took all my profits. He did it right. Absolutely give him credit. He should have... Uh, if I had raised with the King Queen, will he have stayed? I don't know. Probably he, he could have, but he did the right thing when he had two pair on the flop. Now that was that was hurtful there. I thought I was in really good shape. I did not give him credit for two pair. I give him credit for the flush draw or possibly a, a weaker king than me. In that situation, the way he's been betting, there's no way I would give him credit for two pair, especially the two, three. I got to build some pots up now. Let's get the money in the pot. Looking for a five of clubs, five of hearts. It's not the fives. He bets, I fold. He checks, I bet. Cool could go all in with 598 here. Decides not to. All right. Back on the horse. Got to climb. About three minutes to go for 30 minutes, and now that I'm down, I'll have to stay longer. You'll have to suffer with me for 15 more minutes. It's normally, when I get a hit like that, and I get down here, I usually reload my funds. I'm not going to do it right now because I want to keep accurate. You know where I'm at when I started with the 25 just for for the video but normally I would because if I get into a big hand with in fact I will I'll add I'll add the uh, um, I'll add eight dollars and I'll pull this hand I'll add eight dollars so I'm 33 in now 33 and I gotta remember that 33 invested the, the reason, oh, Jim sat out. That's no good. Don't want him to leave with his 35. He's doubled up. He might just leave. He's the guy that I need to get the money back. And I need to have enough money in my coffers here to get to double back through him. So that's why I'm adding the $8. If I double up 16, I only get 32. If I double up 24, I can get to 48. So that's the reason I added the money. Come on, cool. Just call. I will call a, a raise here. It's a second position. I can do things after the flop. I'm going to check it back to him if he checks. Because I think he'd be trapped. A 
minutes just to see if he's got it. If he doesn't, he's going to go away. If nobody raises for me to pay the 15 cents, I'd have to have at least two callers. So 15 into to 85. And if this guy calls and makes it a no-brainer, I'd pay the 15 cents. 50 cents? No. They both will call for a quarter. They're not going to limp for a quarter and fold for a quarter. Oh, he raised it another quarter. Not a good flop for four seven. All right, we're at thirty minutes and down eight dollars or down yeah eight dollars, and so I need in fifteen minutes I need to get the eight dollars back and then plus money. I don't edit anything that I put up on the internet. You get to see it raw if I make a mistake or if I get felted. That happens to you. You need to see it happen to me. If it ain't, if you're seeing nothing but winning, if you're seeing nothing but perfect play, then you're not seeing reality because reality is you can't do that. Now, there's some people who will argue with me and maybe argue with you saying, oh, bullshit, you know, you, I win all the time and I never lose a hand and I never do make a mistake. Well, you believe who you want. You can believe the truth or your lying eyes. Ah, oh, there's a straight turn. Jim's back in. That's a good sign. Let's make it a pot size bet with this 3 7 on the button. We lost two players. I don't want to lose any more, or the game might be over and I might not get a chance to get my money back. Jim's going to play tight now. What? Okay, playing forehand at ace nine is like ace queen. Got to tell yourself that when you're playing. Who a re raised by Jim. Let's call and see where we go from here. Not the greatest flop, especially if he's got ace king, because I need a jack. And if a jack comes, that gives him a, a, a straight, you know, so it's just not a good flop for me. It just doesn't, I don't have a backdoor nut flush draw. I don't have anything there. And the card I need could help him more than it helps me. He could have been playing queen jack there too. And got two pairs, so I don't know. It wasn't to my advantage, I don't think. Again, ace high radio is the place to follow when you get on Twitch. Everybody that follows gets eligible for some prizes and, and being selected. So, And I will be selecting somebody from that follows me at Teach GPL and also, also at AlSpath on YouTube. If you follow me or subscribe to me, we're, it's both free. Um, I'm going to select some people. I'm going to give them a free coaching one. I'm going to give somebody a free session on YouTube from YouTube and somebody from from Twitch if you just follow me or subscribe to my channel so pass it on but please tell your friends and and poker players to, to follow and take advantage of all the free videos and instruction that I provide again full flush is offering ten dollars if you use the code AHR10 and get a new account there. Well, come on, Jim. Might as well take my $24 with these aces. Come on, put it up to $75. Oh, no. I want to make sure he gets in the pot here. Come on, Jim. Up, up. Take the race. Up. Don't care. He's going away. Don't be stay. I don't like the two. Hoping Jim has a jack. Uh oh. Come on, Jimbo. Uh, 
he's got 601. Only reason I don't want him to have is a two. Kings and aces. Thank you very much. Jimbo, I wanted your money, though. All right, I'm at 33. I'm back to even. Square one. 25 plus eight. I got 10 minutes to go. I'm going to go up, might go down. I'm going to fold this 3-4 on the buttons that Jim's raised. Playing four-handed here. I'm going to re-raise from 7-2 off. Let's see where 7-2 off bets. That's a nice bet from him, London. Jim's from Dale. He's from Port. So, ooh, does he hit the two pair again? Does he have the king, queen? Does he have the queen, eight? Remember last time he did that against me? He, he had it. I was hoping he had one. Nope, it's only king nine. He's way behind. Oh, and he guts it out. He's got a big winner on his hand now, folks. That's what happens when you get lucky. Sometimes people will say, I'd rather be lucky than I'd rather be good. I can't bet 50 cents I, because there's no big blind there. Oops. What's happening here? Oh, there it is. Six, eight. Oh, I need a seven. Come on, baby. Don't bet, Jim. Don't bet, Jim. I have to fold if he bets it. Uh, I can't do it. Can't do it for, for four cards. Four times four, 16%. Not getting odds. Plus, there's a flush draw on the board. So definitely get out of the dodge. Get out of, get out of his way hand. Well, it looks like the table's going to crap out, and before it craps out, I want to tell everybody thank you very much for viewing in. I mean, we were up uh, a good $10, and then we lost it. We lost more than $10, and then we came back. I added the 8 and got back up to about even, and that's the best I could do for the round, it looks like. I guess I could spend some more time, but those are the ups and downs of poker. You heard my mindset. You didn't see me panic. You didn't see me get upset. You see me evaluate whether I should load some money, and if I didn't load the money, I maybe don't win as much against that one guy. Maybe I'm I'm all in a little bit faster. We'll go one more round here and see if everybody sticks around. I'm not going to defend with 3-7. Might see the flop with it because they don't raise, but I'm sure not going to call anybody nope he wouldn't bet the four here it's queen or diamonds maybe a mid pair if he had a mid pair he might have raised pre flop so more likely a weak queen or a couple of diamonds Dollar. Dollar five. Think about what you think your opponent's going to bet. When half the pot, less than half the pot. He don't like where he's at. Well. I'm going to see if Jim will let me see the flop. I'd love to beat him with the 10, too. I won't usually play these kind of hands. This, this guy's gone away, so this is the last hand. And it'll be the last hand for me. Now, some of you might say, well, why don't you sit here and play uh, Jim heads up? Well, one, the video's over. But two, um, with him, I'm not going to get the odds a lot of times. But I'm, I'm going to make him have to to play a, a different way against one player than, than two or three players. Again, I'm Al Spath. It's the 1st of September. Don't miss the ASI Radio broadcast tonight because they're giving away a lot, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for listening, and tell some friends, please.